She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. Wow. Her baddie friend. Hey, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Also a manifestation mm -hmm, coach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, everything will be linked down below. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I was like everything down below. So today, um, we're obviously doing a collab, and um, the video idea I had in mind. I feel like there's not a lot of like intro to law of assumption because I feel like if you type in law of assumption and you don't know anything about it and then you see 3p and you're like what the fuck is 3p? Like you see all the shit and you're like I don't know what this is. So this is gonna be more of like a mistakes or things that i did that i feel like we could just avoid yeah so i'm gonna give two and you're gonna give two i'm gonna give two or maybe we'll give none anyway so okay <laughs> let's start so number one is um taking the 3d as validation so like i would want to manifest i don't know something a physical change because a lot of people ask me on my channel to talk about physical changes and i would say let's say i'm manifesting this physical change and i'd be like okay I have it and then I'd go look in the mirror and be like dang I don't have it and then I'd break down and spiral and cry and then I just do that on and off for months and it's like nothing is going to change unless if you change what you're saying to yourself like the physical world is literally I say this in every video <laughs> she says it in every video everybody says it in every video but like your physical world is literally a mirror. It's copying off of you. So if you say, oh, I have it, but I don't have it. Oh, I have it, but I don't have it. And you keep going back and forth. All you're going to get is back and forth. All you're going to get is usually if you're first starting out, nothing. Because you already have the dominant assumption that, I don't know, you're not confident or you have a bad self-concept in love. And if you're kind of trying to come in and change these beliefs and stuff, like if you are not... If you're wavering on that and like the the belief you have in love is not strong, it's your dominant thoughts that manifest. So if you just keep actively going back to this, that's all you're going to get. So that was the first one. So I have a bunch more videos talking about that in depth, but the 3D is not validation. We're talking about like a bunch of famous people who were like sleeping on couches no couches to sleep on because they were homeless. People didn't know who they were, but it didn't matter because they had tunnel vision on what they wanted. They disregarded the, the circumstances because the reason why I say at least circumstances don't matter is because you are above them. You are creating circumstances. Like I, I looked it up and like, because people say circumstance, I don't know if it was you that told me this, but like people say like circumstances are I don't know, I just assumed, like, because everybody was like, oh, circumstances, they're bad. Yeah. They're not bad. Yeah. They're just, they are neutral. Like, yeah. they can just be, like, somebody's circumstance could be, like, being born into, like, a, a rich and a famous family, right? Like, having circumstances and realizing that you create them based off of the self-concept you have. Like, a circumstance could be me being like, oh, I'm so lucky and I have a good... uh story for money so i go outside and i find money on the floor like that can be a circumstance but realizing that you are above circumstances because you literally create them so don't let these things that you see in the 3d don't be like oh i guess this is true and like oh my gosh i never have anything happen to me blah blah, blah whatever you need to stick to what you want that is literally like the thing the problem that people have they just don't stick to what they want and that's literally all you have to do my first topic is about wavering and if you don't know wa what wavering is wavering is when you go back and forth between two stories usually it's going to be your old story and your new story so having what you want and not having what you want and the thing with your subconscious mind is it only knows one consciousness it cannot present to you two opposing stories mm -hmm. i cannot be with indigo and not be with indigo mm -hmm. at the same mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you want what you want you're gonna have to stick to it you take you take your new story what you want to experience and like indigo said have tunnel vision like these celebrities like your favorite people that yep. you see living the exact lives that you want yep. they are not wavering yep. the people that win the lottery and lose everything they wavered you can bring something in but to keep it dog you can't dog <laughs> That's you, self concept, baby. <laughs> you, yes, you need your high self concept. Self concept is going to be the answer to not wavering, not going back and forth. Mm -hmm. When you know who you are, what are you questioning? Like, mm -hmm. I'm with Indigo. Mm -hmm. What am I questioning? Period. Here. With wavering, I feel like a lot of people can find it 
I don't want to be a bitch. I don't want to say something. It's just not hard. But I just feel like the it's discipline. Why, it's and discipline. discipline can be hard when you're not used to it. Exactly. Because exactly. and I understand exactly. it, which is what I also wish I knew when I came in is like your mind when you waver it's because your mind hasn't accepted the story you're trying to you're trying to program it manually Mm -hmm. and you're used to just unconscious programming yeah so that's the difference that's why you've never wavered with your boyfriend breaking up with you because it didn't take much for you to believe it because Mm -hmm. your self-concept stuck your self-concept is gonna align Mm -hmm. with what you're experiencing Mm -hmm. because it is you exactly what you're experiencing is you i feel like a lot of people might find it hard because they are so attached to their old Mm -hmm. story which is why i say if it's not your manifestation it has nothing to do with you you can't be with me and not be with me at the same time i said i tweeted like does naomi campbell like worry about getting bookings no because she's naomi campbell does does a person who gave birth are they worried about pregnancy Mm -hmm. no you can't not, you can't be alive you can't mm-hmm. be dead at the same time you can't be like mm-hmm. eating and not eating at mm-hmm. the same time like you guys are so concerned with the old story and like in order to drop it because that's like the only thing you really like yeah. drop or let go of you need to, it's just repetition every single time you think of the old story i don't identify with this anymore this is not me like that's what i was saying about like you don't if you don't want to flip every single thought that comes in you can just have a thought be a thought and just let it pass yeah. by and like move on because it's not going to manifest and it has nothing to do with you anymore like i the thing i say all the time oh my god there's a draft in my room oh my gosh bts yeah. is sitting here right now they're not if i have the thought oh my gosh bts is sitting here right now i'm not gonna be like oh my god yeah. and i'm gonna start to spiral yeah. and cry no because i don't have any i don't identify with that yeah. story so and my thing is like wavering doesn't also have to be bad because for example let's say you have a dominant story where money's hard to get you have to work for it you don't have any and you start affirming and now it's like your mind's going back and forth you're like on the brink because if you don't persist you're just gonna go back but if you keep persisting you're gonna go all the way so it can be a good thing or like a good thing to look at and just be like okay i'm wavering so much my mind keeps going back and forth like what do i do you keep going exactly like you're right there so people ask what do i do i'm like girl it's like a border yeah this guy i used to watch he's he was more law of attraction but like he said something and it was like since you're the operant power you can make everything mean whatever you want it to mean so he was like think of like every time like a negative thought comes up think of that as an opportunity to be like oh i can just persist more like it doesn't have to be you don't have to be like oh my gosh i'm having a negative thought i failed no you can be like every time you have a negative thought or opposing thought be like oh my god wait no i do have it like Mm -hmm. period you don't have to freak out every time a negative thought comes up so the next thing is bottling up emotions i literally remember a specific time where like i was like i'm happy i'm happy like i have everything i want i'm so happy because i thought that like if you don't have high vibration you won't get what you want and i literally you know when you hear people say stuff and like you're like sure but like you actually experience it and you're like okay like i remember like i was super sad and i was crying Mm -hmm. and then like my phone went off and like somebody paid me and i was like okay so like Hmm, it's okay if I cry because yeah. that really has nothing to do with like getting paid. Like, and I want to, sorry to interrupt hmm? you, but it's like this, I always see this. And it's like people confuse like toxic positivity with just not being negative. <laughs> like you don't yeah. have to be like, oh my God, I have the best life in the world. Mm-hmm. But like if something shows up in your reality that, that you don't like, you don't have to say, I have the worst life, I hate my life, my life is the worst, I'll never get anything. Jumping to like, an that's assumption. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, jumping to, you're living in the end, but just it's, not in your feelings. Yeah, it's not toxic positivity to not shit on yourself because of a bad experience. Right. Like, yeah, no, I think toxic positivity is more of, like, your feelings, like, if you are feeling sad, not allowing yourself to cry. But yeah. I feel like it's very different being like, oh, I want to cry, but I'm not going to cry because, like, I'm just going to be happy. Instead of being like, you know what, like... I feel sad right now, but it's going to go away and or everything's going to be fine. Or being scared that it's going to manifest in the reality if they cry. If I've seen this. You can cry. You can tell your therapist about it. You can journal it. It doesn't count as scripting your bad experience. Right. You can do it. You can, like, get it out. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah bottling, yeah. bottling up emotions is not good. Like, I literally, like, would do that when I would be, like, manifesting something and be like, it's here, it's not here, it's here, it's not here. And, like, feel like, oh, my gosh, if I cry, then, like, then, like... I've failed or some shit and it's like please don't be scared whoever is telling you <laughs> that you have to be happy all the time does not know what the fuck they're talking about please if if anyone is telling you that like you have to 
be in if you be, listen vibrations i think vibrations are great i think that like i come from a very like science standpoint so i don't think it has to do with manifesting obviously like if you want to have high vibrations obviously like do what you need to do to get into that state but just realize that like you can be sad and manifest you can be angry and manifest i think some of my best rampages is when i've been angry and i've been in the mirror yeah. like you bitch you that yeah. bitch you got that shit <laughs> and then i've manifested things yeah. i've manifested money or i've manifested text it doesn't yes. have to, feelings do not manifest Girl. feelings yeah. come and go uh manifesting with kimberly posted this tiktok and it was like somebody saying feelings are just passing sensation in the body mm -hmm. it passes and it moves on dominant thoughts do not pass dominant thoughts are with you mm -hmm. the entire time and that's what gets reflected into reality so please cry yeah. scream mm -hmm. get angry mm -hmm. the feeling will pass and go away mm -hmm. but if you have that dominant thought that you're rich and you keep telling yourself that you have what you want you are gonna have it because i'll, I'll let me talk let me find another rich person because i keep bringing up this bitch. i'm not even gonna say her name i'm not even gonna speak her anymore Nicki minaj since my last video was about her she does not cry and then the car man comes and is like hey nikki <laughs> gotta take away your lambo <laughs> and your other bugatti because you were crying today sorry that's not how that shit works like you can cry you can get angry and whatever and still have what you want yeah. and it not disappear yeah. so the last point for me is about reality not being fixed mm -hmm. meaning your reality is not permanent mm -hmm. i i'm gonna start saying this more but a lot of times when i see people manifest they manifest from like the current reality is the center of the universe and if i want something it has to come it's not that there are other realities it's my shitty circumstances are like Period, point blank then, yeah and what i want maybe kind of sort of mm. we'll see it's no and that also goes with there is no separation mm -hmm. there is nothing outside of you that is separate from you yep. i don't care the circumstance the person the money the job the health i don't care what it is it is all you Period. so nothing is permanent because if you are able to change your thoughts you are able to change your reality your thoughts are not permanent so your reality cannot be permanent mm -hmm. Period. okay Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> the 3d so malleable my mom is like hey we're gonna go here and i don't want to go so i don't accept it and then like literally a second later she's like actually we'll just go home yeah it, it, literally it can be that quick because the 3d is looking to you for validation exactly. it's looking to you to be like okay hey what are we doing today you don't have to accept what you don't want and if you mm -hmm. don't accept it it's not going to play out and it's not mm -hmm. going to continue to manifest i think that's yeah <laughs> <laughs> subscribe like oh to me yes. oh, oh i thought you were talking about you i absolutely love her videos Thank um you. your rampages are absolutely amazing Thank you. and and we're gonna do this one but yes okay okay you have everything you want stop fucking with me <laughs> bye <laughs>